Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Let's take a look at Justin Ross. A lot of people compare him to Julio Jones because of his ability to win the ball in the air, his ability to run after the catch, some of the route running prowess that he shows. Certainly a spectacular athlete when the ball is in the air. We've seen a number of plays in the first couple of years of his career where he goes up and wins the ball in spectacular fashion. So we're going to take a look at some things that I really like about Ross's game that go beyond just the athletic skill. Though one of the things that I'm going to show right away is really an athletic skill, but it can be trained to some extent early on in a player's career. And when I say early in their career, like middle school, high school, college, and continue to be built upon, and that's the ability to track the football. And when you see a player... When I talk about tracking the football, I want to see late adjustments with tracking. This is a good example of that. He's got two defenders on him, and he's going to have to go to the ball at his back shoulder here and make the adjustment. We're going to see a better example of that right here. But when you have a player who can make these types of late adjustments and late turns to win the ball and have the focus to do it in tight coverage, that's worth noting especially where it's to that back shoulder just behind the reach of the defender there difficult play and when it comes to players like ross who are very acrobatic and adjust very well to the football you also want to see them dictate the terms with physical coverage and that's exactly what he does here against notre dame you're going to see him here in his stem right here the defender gets his hand on Ross Ross is able to work that inside hand underneath and then brace it against the chest of the defender right here he's dictating the terms now he's not getting pushed to the boundary the defenders trying to but Ross has his arm barred across the chest and then he's able to slip under late in the play see how he slips under and then attacks the ball with his hands and then just walks, you know, runs through that defender. Watch, watch it one more time. See how the arm slips underneath? Watch it one more time. Gets his arm inside, arm bar, slips underneath. That's framing separation. It's not a push off because when the defender's pushing you, and you can see the defender's form is into Ross's chest, he's allowed to counter that and to try and make sure that he's framing his space maintaining his space and that's what he does and he's in great position to make the play this is an even better example of that here at the top of the screen you can see a little bit of a two-step release and then a, a a shed and then he works up the field and you can see the arm again is in the chest and he makes the catch we're going to see it from this angle you see that release and then there he goes places the arm right here now it's going to look to some people who are uninitiated with this as a push but it's really when the defender's got his hand on you you can maintain the distance that you have he's just maintaining the distance that he's already established against the defender and then he gets his arm over the top of the defender who's already holding on to him to maintain that position again and then he can lift up through it he makes a terrific catch with one hand juggling grab right there and let's take a look at that catch as well because when he goes up for that it's fingertips see how he goes up with the fingertips to make that catch it doesn't bounce off his palms and that's important because when you make a, a fingertip first catch it slows the recoil of the ball it's a less violent recoil makes it easier for you to be able to make a second and a third opportunity to catch the ball and that's exactly what he does this is already a player with a nice array of footwork and hand work in terms of releasing from the line of scrimmage you're going to see him work here with a rocker step and then a jab to the inside to stick inside and work outside here and make a nice leap back for the ball see how he's straight up and down as he makes this leap he's not leaning backwards he's attacking that ball straight up that's what you want to see from a big receiver, knowing how to use his height. A player like Colin Johnson out of Texas had difficulty with that. That's, again, nice rocker step, nice little arm over there. Didn't need it, but he used it as the defender decided to shoot his hands. See how the defender shoots the hands first? 
And then Ross uses his hand with the SWAT and then the arm over. Watch it one more time. You're going to see SWAT and arm over. SWAT with outside arm, arm over with inside arm. And then here he comes. Nice leap, extension, both hands on the ball, fingertips first, close together. Excellent play. Justin Ross, very compelling wide receiver prospect with first-year starter potential in the NFL. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.